Now, let's talk a bit more about what being empathetic in a design thinking context means and what we can do to gain insights from the early stages of a design thinking project. The empathy phase and discovery phase involves research activities that are concentrated and concerned with developing a deep understanding of end users and customers. A key element that drives the advantages gained through a design thinking process is the customer-oriented or human-centered perspective. Brian Levy in 2011 suggests that the important advantage of the design-led innovation approach is its creation of market opportunities that are based on emotion-rich innovations in product uh, meanings. The empathetic approach involves observing, interacting, and understanding the problems consumers have, examining the needs, dreams, and behaviors of the people for which the organization is seeking to design a solution. By observing or engaging directly with the so-called end user, you can see the issues that they are facing and you can see them with a fresh set of eyes. It will allow you to see physical manifestations of behavior along with interpreting these stories that people tell. It is such rich and human-centered data that enables the design team to conceptualize the problem and the solution that people actually desire. So desirability is one of the most important lenses through which you must seek a solution in design thinking. So how do you do empathy work? I mentioned observation, but really any ethnographic research method is suitable to gain empathy with end users. What matters are not so much individuals, but situations, environments, activities, relations, interactions, and the processes that people go through. So in a typical empathy phase, you would do interviews. You can do them structured, semi-structured. You can use storytelling. You do formal observations by visiting sites, shadowing, taking videos, capturing data that way. Informal observations, you know, guerrilla type research, participant observation, lurking. Self-documentation is another way of doing it. You write diaries, you take videos, visual stories, cultural probes, or experience sampling. And finally, you could do group or event setups to gather data. Participatory design, communities of practice are ways of doing this. There are so many ways of collecting human-centered data and capturing how user groups experience situations. Generally, I usually encourage three main avenues of gathering empathy. The first one is by observation. Be a shadow, be the fly on the wall. Look at situations, environments, activities, interactions and relations. Take note of the context, the space, the time, facial expressions, the temperature. Count occurrences of behavior, actions and situations. The second way would be by interview. Talk to people, have a conversation, use a survey, use a set of guiding questions, alternative questions, a warm-up question, a closing comment, create the right environment for a conversation. Use probes, rephrase your question, feedback and seek for clarity, follow up and clarify, expand and analyze. The third way would be by participation, by getting involved yourself. This is a reflective approach. Yeah? You participate to experience firsthand. You put yourself in the shoes of someone who's experiencing a situation. Reflect on your own experience. Use categories of reflection like sensual, visual, emotional, physical. Take notes, photos, write a diary. All the information that you obtain through this research will help you gain the necessary deep insights into a problem space. Often in this phase, you will be surrounded or you will surround yourself with all the information that you have collected. All of the team members will contribute. Be as visual as you can possibly be. In. Pin the photos and, and the quotes of what people said or expressed on the walls around you in your team space. 
This visual documentation of your research will help make connections. Think of it of, uh, like an ops room uh, in a detective show on television, with pieces of string connecting important pieces of information, maps, photos, sound bites, all over the place. 